we have a stone here, this beautiful crystal. Mm -hmm. um, and thank you for letting me pick up your crystal. <laughs> what is the only thing that would wear this crystal away? What do you mean? Like the only thing that would, through time, would wear this crystal away. Like, or a stone or a rock. It's water. Okay. So if I take flowing water and I just put flowing water over this crystal for the next year, two years, three years, it's eventually just going to start to dissolve away. So there's this belief in our society that the masculine is stronger than the feminine. And I want to completely dissolve that. Like feminine power in her radiance, both in male body and female body, is the most powerful force on the planet. And we're in a collective purging, a collective reshaping of what's really true. And, you know, I, I, I had a big learning lesson with this within Raven as well, because when we had that frictional moment a few times and, and our brothers fighting for like, no, I'm going to be better. I, I know how to do this. She said to me, and it was such a humbling moment, she's like, well, if I lead from my masculine, Who's to say that you being in more your expansion and your intuition and feeling the space and the group, who's to say that's not as powerful? And I was like, what, what do you mean? Like, I, I could watch this part of my ego that had to die in order to actually recognize that feminine intuition, creativity, awareness, attunement is just as powerful and I think more powerful than this like very penetrative powerful masculine and I'm a persistent fucker when it comes down to things like I'm very driven and know how to do that so the biggest lesson for me has been to actually like take a step back to feel more deeply to listen inside to my heart to my belly to see what's moving and then from that place be able to then make decisions on the bridge of a ship you have a you have a uh, navigator and a co-navigator and the, the co-navigator is assimilating all of the wind and the weather and all of the information, the tides and the current and the next port of call and where you're going. And it's taking all of that and it's then giving it to the navigator saying, okay, this is what's present. Which, which, are we going right 20 or left 20? Like what's going to happen here? And for most people, we're living our lives as our heart is our co-navigator and our mind is our navigator. What I would want to invite is a switch of that, where the mm -hmm. mind becomes the assimilating tool that's just beginning to recognize all of the dynamic equanimity that's present in everyday life, delivering that, and actually heart math shows that as the mind delivers that information, new neural pathways open up, and there's just as much capacity in the heart to actually make decisions for the life that are incongruency for the soul. And so as the, heart, as the heart becomes the navigator and the mind the co-navigator, there's an entirely different trajectory, which I feel mm. is much more aligned with feminine intuition and, and awareness.